In this video, you're going to learn how to animate UVs to make moving textures in Blender. First, you'll need to go to Edit Preferences, then Add-ons, and search for Anim All, and enable that add-on. First, we'll do a panning texture, and I'll use a cloud texture plugged into a bump map to make ripples on this river. I'm going to quickly add a timeline by right-clicking on this bottom edge, horizontal split, and change the type to timeline. In the side panel, there's the atom all options, and I'll choose UVs and insert a keyframe. Then I'll move the frame to a later one. Apparently I was in edit mode, but it didn't really matter for that first keyframe. Now I'm going to move this down and insert a new keyframe. Now if I hit play in edit mode, it actually won't show up. With the Atom All add-on, the animation only shows up in object mode. And now we have some little ripples and movement in our water. Next, we'll do more of a flipbook style animation using a sprite sheet that has each frame of the texture in it. I will hit S and scale the UVs to 0.25 and then I'll move it to the corner using snapping. And then I'll just delete the previous keyframes. I'll hit insert to add the new keyframe and move over, say two frames, move the UVs and hit insert, and then do that for the rest of them. In this case, increment snapping works well. Also, for other power of 2 layouts of frames such as 2, 4, 8, 16, etc. If I press play, it doesn't look good because it generated in-betweens. So with my keyframes selected, I can hit T and choose constant interpolation, which will make it only have the keyframes and not in-between frames. You may also want to choose linear interpolation instead of bezier for the panning texture technique. If you'd like this video and want to see more videos about Blender, then like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment to help my channel grow. Thank you.